because now y'all putting me in an uncomfortable position and y'all making it awkward for me. Because now people are going to run to Voodoo Bay and be like, yo, Songbird just hopped up on Pat's Live and disrespected Voodoo Bay. And that's not fair to me. Because I try to do this live, literally making peace with everything that happened yesterday, not making more drama or continuing the drama from yesterday. And I don't like people making me feel like I'm the middleman. That's not okay. Yeah, please, if you're a friend of mine, don't do that shit. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Because that just made me mad uncomfortable. Like, wild uncomfortable. Hey, y'all. What's up, Betty? Um, damn, I done missed the whole lot, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you did. Man, I go on vacation for the weekend. I'm trying to get back into the groove of things. And I come back and this songbird is up. Like, what the hell? No, songbird is, songbird is not an op. Songbird, I'm talking about that's songbird. what somebody said. No, I know. Yeah, so, yeah it's so, the people that sit here saying they're op, they're just, they're being extra as fuck. No, no one's being okay. Just because, and I said, and I said this. Just because Songbird held a space where everyone, not only black people, but indigenous people and everybody can come together and have a dialogue does not make you an op. You know how many times I've done that on this app? Yeah. So if Songbird is an op, so am I. You would have to call Patrick an op, but you're not going to call Patrick an op. Got because that, that again, brings, brings to Songbird's point. Because she's a small content creator, people are going to like go at, at her a certain way. Well, because people know I'm a large content creator with a large platform, they know some people just know not to do that. Yeah. Unfortunately. And Somber was right on that. Carnival guy was right about that. I just don't want to be put in the middle. Yeah. I, I feel you on that. Nobody I, wants I to just, be put I in just, the I don't like, and that's, that's why I respect Patty Ruth's page a lot because when she's on live, she does the same thing. She don't like nobody putting her in the middle. <laughs> yeah. At all. And I don't, I, I, I don't want to be in the middle, especially between two women at that and two women that I speak to every day and two women that have had my back. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So I'm not real, real quick. Here, no, I'm not doing that. Quick, they both have helped me in ways that I can't ever repay. So I'm not going to sit here and disrespect Songbird. I'm not going to ever disrespect Voodoo Bay. But make, I'm making this very clear and this boundary is set. And this is for people who I consider a friend. Do not hop on my space on my page and make me out to be the middleman and, and, and use my platform to be like, oh, there's hundreds of people in here. I'm going to call this person out. Don't. Because that makes me wild uncomfortable. That that just makes me feel mad uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't like that. But that's just, Can that's I just me say saying that out of love. That's just me saying that. Good, good, good. Um, I was here, Pat, when Voodoo Bay and Songbird was here. I know what happened. Um, your your followers, mine, Voodoo Bay, Songbird, Petty Road, I Speak, are messy as fuck. That's what it is. They are messy as fuck. So whoever is in here calling Songbird is an op, and she plays both sides, and she's messy and this that i was on every live that had happened last night whether i was watching i was a spectator or whether i was in the live you see y'all need y'all see i'm what you call a hawk i pay attention to shit and i knew people were going to do that but that Julius, come with the territory though javon that come with the territory that's absolutely. when you have to get to the point of saying if you come to me with something, you better have receipts. Receipts. Because yeah. I'm not going yeah. to sit up here and co-sign with you 
if you do not have receipts, because people do that, they go back and try to tell something, but they add a little bit of this and they take away a little bit of that. It's simply AP, but that's not an opinion. That's a fact. What it's saying. a fact, though. That's a fact, because I've been dealing with this for two years. I can't. Do you know how many that's people unfollow me because my God. mods mute them? Hold on. Somebody, everybody mute real quick. Do you know how many times, do you know how many people have sat here and unfollowed me because my moderators accidentally mute them? And then they go around and sit here and be going on Blaze's lives talking shit, going on you No know, Cry Zone's lives talking shit about me. Most recently, Shorty saw me in Atlantic City walking to get a slice of pizza and recorded me and start and trying to do a call out video because I didn't acknowledge her. This is not an opinion. That's a, this is a fact. This happens. This happens a lot. People switch up so fast when you don't give them what they want. And, and Songbird is right to, to uh, uh, in her point where people were coming at her last week about something else, and she didn't do nothing wrong. That's not op behavior. She's defending herself, and she has a right to. She has a right to want to hold a space for just not black people and everyone to speak together. I've done both type of lives. I've hosted lives where it's just for black people only, and I've hosted lives where it's for everyone. So if you're going to call her or, or, or Carnival Gal an op, you have to call Patrick an op too. You would have to. You would have to call Julius an op. At that point, you would have to call them an op too. But how is she an op? I'm, I'm confused because I've been here since no, the No, because, because, because you know some people in our community, they just be doing the fucking most. If it's not black That's only, you're an op. I don't like that shit. I can't hear you, Pat. Can y'all hear him? Like how? Like how oh, is like? I'm, I'm wondering. Okay. How how is how is people like Songbird and Carnival Gal problematic? Can y'all hear me? Yeah. How is people? How is people like Carnival Gal and Songbird problematic? How? I'll admit what Songbird just did, I didn't like it. She knows that she knows I didn't like that. But that'll make her problematic. Like, how, like, do you know what problematic means? I'll give an example who's problematic. Uh, that's problematic. That person is problematic. I think now people call other people problematic when you don't like somebody that they do like. Then all of a sudden, if you say something that's contrary to what they believe about the person or whatever, then you're problematic. You could very well be speaking the truth. Now, I don't know what was said between them two, so don't nobody go run and try to start no shit because I wasn't even here. I'm just saying that sometimes when they call people problematic is because they said something about your favorite content creator that you didn't like, whether it be true or false. Now you want to call them problematic because they said something and that's not it. That's just, you don't like what that person said. Call it what it is. Yeah, it's, it's one thing to say someone's actions is problematic. That's completely different than to say that who they are is problematic. And you guys are literally saying... <clears throat> that songbird as a person is problematic because she's defending herself. That's not problematic. No, because who who not going to defend themselves? Like no, she has a no. She absolutely has a right to defend herself. Exactly, because you'd be no stupid one, not to. Yeah, if if you don't right defend, defend yourself, herself, who gonna do it? But you. guess what? But guess what? Now Voodoo Bay has a right to defend herself. True. Okay, it goes both ways. You see how it is? Now, Buddha Bay, when she finds out, she's going to have a right to defend herself. And you two as ladies are going to have to either figure that out privately or publicly. That's up to y'all. That's up to y'all. I mean, like I said, I wasn't there. Okay, I don't know what happened. Right. Okay, I don't know what was right. said, but I hope they can. Probably it would be better done off the app so that they can have a real open dialogue and not trying to be 
um, nitpicky about what they say because they don't want to offend nobody else. If it's just them two talking, they can be more open with each other and say, okay, well, yes, I said this, but this is what I really meant because X, Y, Z. They can really lay everything on the table because sometimes wait, we may wait. be... Somebody said they already talked? Oh, yeah, that's right. Songbird did say she talked to her in the comments. She did. I forgot. I did see that. So if they already talked, then well, why did Songbird do that then? I don't know, because I'm lost. But she said it in the chat that she talked to her. I don't know. Well, I hope they laid everything out on the table. That way it can't be no... Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm very lost. Only only Songbird can confirm that. That's that's up to Songbird. Yeah, but if if they... if they After, after what? No, I'm only looking at the people I trust. I'm not looking at I'm not, I'm not looking at random ass people that that's just trying yeah. to be. I can't I'm, remember I'm, exactly what her wording was, but she it was something to the effect of, "I talked to her so y'all can chill." So okay, so she just reached out. Why didn't Why didn't Somber just wait for Vuda Bay to hit her back? I don't know. Yeah, she do need to confirm that did she reach out to her or did she talk to her? Because that's two very different things. Reaching out. Yeah, that's, yeah talking, that, that's what's confusing me. That's two different things. But I do remember it said so y'all can chill. I do remember that part because I was like, oh, okay then Songbird. That's what I had said in my spirit. Right, so no, Car no Carnival God. I, I didn't say she was wrong for publicly addressing the people in the comments. The people in the comments were being messy. But if if she if she initially went out her way to speak to Voodoo Bay privately and Voodoo Bay just hasn't gotten gotten back to reaching back to her, I'm asking as a friend, why did Somber come up and, and do what she did publicly about Voodoo Bay? That's what I'm asking. I don't know. Maybe she'll reach out to you after the live and she can Because that because that just put me like like did that just put me in a pickle that I, I that I I didn't need to be in? That's just what I'm saying because they're both my friends. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Well, I hope she will clear that up for you. But I'm finna hop down my escapee dog. I hear him out by my window, so he done came back home. He probably had his hot ass across the street. I'm finna go catch him. So I will talk to y'all later. I right, love. Listen, my bad. I didn't mean to use your platform and make you uncomfortable. I have not spoken to Voodoo Bay. I reached out to Voodoo Bay. I did not get the courtesy of having somebody reach out to me before I was confronted in a live last night. And nobody can nobody can argue that. Nobody confront nobody said anything to me before I was confronted in a live last night. That's my problem. So I have not spoken with Voodoo Bay. I have reached out to Voodoo Bay, whether she or I work it out or not. I don't have beef with her. I just don't understand why I was confronted. So, I mean, it, it really doesn't matter to me how y'all in the comments feel about me. I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable by saying what I said on your platform. That wasn't cool. I apologize. No, for that. I never, I never sat here and said you couldn't. What carnival guy? Why are you putting words in my mouth? I never said that she does not have a right to address it publicly. I'm just saying, why did she do it here, knowing that I'm close to Voodoo Bay? That's all I'm saying. Is everyone hearing me, Zomber? I you, hear you, you and I'm, saying, right? I'm literally apologizing to you right now. So I'm, yeah, exactly. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, she's apologizing. Yeah, like I. So I didn't mean to use your platform for it, but I was, I am angry. And I do feel uncomfortable with a lot of people in the black TikTok community right now. I'll be very frank because I have not been treated very well in the past week or so by people in black TikTok. So I'm angry and I'm apologize if I put you in an awkward position. No, I apologize that I put you in an awkward position on your platform. That was not cool. I apologize for that. It's okay, baby.
I hope right, hopefully I'm hopefully ready. hopefully you and Voodoo Bay figure it out. Hopefully. All right. All right. Yeah, because black TikTok needs two intelligent black women to coexist, if that makes sense. Wait, whoever whoever is using caps in the comment section, um, White Knight of the Fold. Who's White Knight of the Fold? Who is that? Is that Rabbi? Wait, White Sword of the Fold? Who is that? Oh, that's Mr. L.A. Okay, no, no, no. Mr. L.A., only let the mods use the caps. Only let the mods use the caps. That's Rabbi? Oh, that is Rabbi? Okay, yeah, Rabbi, just just let um just just let the mods use the caps because it makes it easier for them to um. No, 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 Rab, take the caps off. It makes it easier for the mods to speak to me, so that way when I see the caps, I know who who exactly the mods are because the shit goes by so quick. It's easier for me to get their attention. I mean, it's easier for them to get my attention when I can see, uh, uh um, see what they're trying to say to me. If that makes sense. <laughs> my bad. I had my caps lock on. No, nah, you, you, uh, you You know they went and mass reported our pages and they thought that I was gone, but I'm still here. I'm just using uh, Brother LA's uh, phone nah, page. You, try, you good? You good? Um, I, I have to get ready to go get boo from school. I just wanted to say this. Uh, a, a lot of the issue with people trying to have conversations or dialogue on social media, especially things like TikTok, is that TikTok makes us sort of like demi-celebrities, right? We're not full blown famous, but a lot of people get well known uh, across the globe because of social media. And if me and you have a disagreement about something, the people that fan for you and the people that fan for me are going to start disrespecting each other. You know what I'm saying? So if me and you have a disagreement, your fans are going to disrespect me and my fans will disrespect you. And that's something that we need to as as creators, as influencers, as, as individuals, we need to make sure that. We're not getting mad at each other because of what people who follow us say. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, I can't. If me and you get into a disagreement, and one of you, one of your followers, say something fucked up towards me, I can't get mad at you for that. But I will say this: I fuck with Songbird the long way, Voodoo Bay's fam too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not gonna get in the middle of anybody arguing, especially two black women, because that ain't none of my goddamn business. And I advise everyone else to stay out of it too, and let these two individuals be grown ass adults and work it out themselves. Agreed. That's it. Agreed. That's it. I'm not. I'm not speaking on it no more. I have both their numbers. I have both their contact information. They'll figure it out. They're both strong, intelligent, beautiful black women. They will figure it out. Right. My, my, my only, my only, uh, I'm not going to call it aggression. My only discourse is with the individuals that, that get mad because two people disagree and y'all want to get on here and call people ops and problematic and all that other shit. Like I'm watching y'all. Don't think you go chill over here with me while you're being messy as fuck. I don't, I don't do messy ass people like that. You know what I'm saying? No, you love messy with me, but you don't like messy right. like that. <laughs> right, I love messy situations. I, I like, you know what I'm saying? I watch VH1. I watch the Ratchet TV and shit. But <laughs> like, I can't fuck with these individuals that one minute they like, oh, Rabbi's the shit, but then I disagree with their favorite creator, and they're like, Rabbi's problematic. I'm not a oh, problem. Just, I'm the oh, solution. Just, 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 like, just like how Aunt Karen called out Miss Jones, and then everybody who followed Miss Jones and Ray the Fixer and Modern Warriors started attacking Aunt Karen. That's another example. That's oh, another man. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm calling that shit out. That shit is corny. Uh, that one was <laughs> wild corny. Oh, yeah. I don't know if Aunt Karen's here, but Aunt Karen, I got you, sis. Yeah, I, I ain't forget what they did to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, y'all did the same shit with Aunt Karen. And y'all still kept bringing up that old-ass Wombland shit from March. And then when I, when, I, when I have a conversation with a creator that they cool with, they want to bring up the shit I did in February. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I said I understand exactly where Carnival Gal and Songbird is coming from. Trust. I'm not sitting here tone policing nobody. The fuck? I never let anybody tone police me, so I'm not going to tone police Songbird. Not at all. Songbird has every right to react how she want to react. And in turn, Voodoo Bay has every right to react how she's going to want to react. That's I'm out of that. That's between two grown women. That's it. 
Facts. Well, and I'm not here to tell any grown ass adult what to do. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got my own kid to raise. I'm not raising grown ass people. But my advice to to everybody is if even if you got a problem with another creator on here, stop addressing that shit publicly because you already know where it's gonna go. That too. Like if, if me and Pat have a disagreement and we got to discuss something, I'm not gonna discuss that shit publicly on his app. I'm not gonna mention it. I'm gonna hit his ass up in the DM and be like, "Yo, bro, this is what happened. This is what I didn't like. Whatever." But I'm not taking that shit public because y'all motherfuckers gonna blow this shit up to epic proportions. Real quick, I just want to say hi. I'm not going to ask for, I don't know exactly what happened, but I'm not going to ask for a recap. I just want to make sure everybody's taking care of themselves. Make sure you drink water, eat real food, like of sustenance. <laughs> make sure Make sure you're taking breaks. If you haven't been outside, go outside. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Sean, baby girl, can I add this bitch ass nigga in here real quick? Go ahead, go ahead. Meanwhile, I'm over here eating Doritos and drinking Monster want, Energy drinks. Um, I was in your live earlier. Yeah, I know. But, I know who you are. What do you want? Yeah, the conversation started out good. Um, you called me the N word several of times. I disrespected no one. I think as you did you disrespected women? No. I, how, how did I disrespect women? That's you not kept true. referring to them as females. Female, females, not a problem. Yes, it is. I call females females, women no, queens. You call I don't, women women. You don't call wait, women females, bro. You I don't call them right. I don't call them so the every time you call every time you call a woman a female, I'm gonna call you a bitch. You see how that works? So no. Every time you say the, the word female, the I'm gonna say word bitch. Is disrespectful. The okay, word, back. That's okay racist. back. So we'll play and that as, again. As, keep, keep can I say female. something? Keep can I say something? Back. Can I say something? As as a content you call it a black creator with seven hundred thousand followers. And I think you need to. I, th I think you need to set a better example because if you're using a better example, all of, can I say something, sir? Please, please. <laughs> I'm gonna. What if I'm gonna I'm like my damn off. You think I'm <laughs> famous? I'm not famous. I'm a nobody, just like you. The only difference between me and you is that 750 thousand people like my messiness. I'm not famous. Okay. I'm not. I'm not okay. important like that. What are you talking cool, about? That's cool. That's cool. Hold, hold up, though. You're. You're using the N word. I anybody using the N word does not have a is not qualified to talk about black issues. You're using the I'm gonna B stop word. you right if there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut you off right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cut you off right there because I use the word female is not a problem. And I so guarantee I'm more qualified to talk about brother. black issues. For you than to you. talking about black issues, calling another man the N word. I'm gonna and I'm gonna never, go ahead and I stop you there. Females out of their name, so you're using the B word. Let's let's go ahead and cut it out. Let's go ahead and cut it out. Okay, because that's kind of you're making a very broad statement for no reason, and you're not understanding how what you're saying is problematic. I guarantee you, I'm more qualified to talk about black issues than you, and I use the N word quite often. <laughs> I, I, I just, I just want to ask one question uh, from the original statement. I, how do you refer to men? Do you call men males? I'll unmute him. That, that's what that, that's all I want to know. How do you refer to males? Do you call do you call men males when you're when you're speaking about them in in conversation? Men males, you know, all all um this this like the word women. All all females are women. Women are adults. Uh, that ain't what I asked. I asked when you're when you're referencing adult, me, will right? you call will you call me a man, a dude, or are you gonna call me a male? And are you gonna say that male person. over there? It doesn't matter. What's the what's the point? It does what's, matter. What's going if you're not going to call men males, don't call up. women what females. Is the issue? It's a I'm boundary not gonna, that is put up. I'm not going to call you the B or N word. It's a boundary. Do you not know what boundaries are? Okay. I'm not going to call you the N word. I'm not going to call you the rush past the actual question. Do you know what boundaries are? Now, what's your boundaries? What would you hey, define? I'll be back in a few. I got to go get food. Do you know yeah. what boundaries are? I ask you a simple question. Do you not know how to answer a question? It it can go it can go many ways. What what is your definition of your boundaries? What are your hey, boundaries? When I, put up, when I put up a boundary, oh, right, that means you don't cross it. No. That means I'm putting up a barrier for you not to cross. So if a woman okay. is telling you not to call them females because you are reducing them to their reproductive organs, that's what the fuck they mean. No, why no. is that? So that, that was let never. Me, let me give him an example. Javon, Javon, let a woman uh, talk. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, that was they like never they never had a problem with it. They never spoke against it. So he's the one. That's, he's the you one know? that spoke out against. It. They spoke out against oh, it after he said something. 
So they still got to get to the conversation. No, wait, maybe you can catch him in an example. Maybe you'll catch him in an example. You would appreciate a white male calling you boy, correct? No, I don't. And I don't like the N word, boy. Okay, now if, if if I don't like if I don't like anyone calling me the N word, not even a black person. Okay, we're skipping the N word because like we we get that you have an issue with the N word. So therefore, in your presence, right, no one out of respect would use that word. However, if you don't want somebody to call you the N word, that's a preference. And if you don't like somebody calling you a boy. That is a preference. And there are women out here that have the preference of not being called female. Why? Because if you had a dog, that would be implied as female or this would be implied as female. I am not a fucking animal and I am not, okay, your merchandise or your property. So when you address me, you will address me as woman. That's it. That is all. I am not your female. And if you can't grasp that, then I uh, I will I will want you and I will implore you, right, to recall if a white man will call you boy or if someone said the N-word and you felt some type of way about it, that is how we feel about being called female. Okay. That's anytime, it, that's all. Anytime of anytime of a a a woman, female or a girl, whatever. There you has go. A problem with, okay. There you go. Anytime, any, can I See, speak? Can I, can I please speak? Can I please talk? No, can every I... time you open your mouth, you're saying bullshit and you're still insisting on using the word when we just okay. had a dialogue, oh, right? Excuse me. I'm excuse not going to call you an N word, right? Me. And I wouldn't allow a white man to call you boy because you don't okay, like you're, it. You're, you're talking over me. Uh, anytime of, anytime of, okay. Fuck. Anytime a woman says, okay, don't call me a female, call me a woman. Okay, fine. I never had a problem with it. They did not speak out on it. He did. They spoke How out on it. After. You wasn't paying attention to the boxing. And then afterwards, he started calling me the N word several times. You didn't pay attention to your. You didn't he's pay attention. To, you didn't read the book. Justify, you were paying attention to, to what you were saying. He's the and he's making up rather stories. than paying attention to the women <laughs> and the bucks. Because when you I, said I that, never call when you said that. Name, the I women's facial expression female. changed. So I if we're going to act like we're intelligent even, beings. Even, excuse me. Even when females call themselves a bad bee, I still don't call them a bee. That has because nothing to can. do with the comment or the topic of discussion stupid. right now. What you didn't pay attention to your surroundings in the boxes because those women not only gave you facial expressions that said they were uncomfortable with it, but Patrick told you that they were uncomfortable with it. And then you no, went on this tangent like you're trying right now. But no, that's that's not future. that's not true because because if, cause if they the said future, I don't want you calling me a learn female, how to call read me a the woman, room. I we would do not, not speak want out to be it. called female. Okay, that's it. That's all. I don't understand why we have to go on this thing where now you got to explain the shit. We don't want it. We don't want to be called female. That's it. That's all. I'm a woman. Just like you wouldn't want to be called a boy by a white man. Just like you don't like the N word. Just like some other stuff you don't agree with. So respect people's boundaries. That's it. That's all. Why is it so fucking hard? What's hard with it? Can somebody explain to me why it's so hard? But why is it that you have to continuously explain to this old, goofy ass motherfucker to? Of what to understand that, that, that's what you're like y'all older black men are problematic and that's why i don't fuck with you i don't fuck with y'all because y'all mad problematic i don't give a fuck you are problematic you need to go to therapy you need to go <clears throat> do something do something you've been on this app we have been on this app explaining to people boundaries and the fact that you don't understand a boundary is a problem you can't comprehend that you could comprehend when a white man is calling you boy but you can't comprehend when a woman puts up when when a woman put up boundaries saying don't call me female. What's so hard about that? What you can't grasp, my brother? What's so hard? Why you can't understand? Why you can't understand? Common sense, you ain't got none. You pushing look like you pushing fifty five going on seventy, and you got the audacity. <laughs> he said you were L. He said you were L. I'm dead. And you an old ass motherfucker, that look crusty as fuck, that don't wash his ass. <laughs> You can't have a lot of people been our ingrained in misogyny. Your, oh, and your mother you understand? So they don't care now about I'm our right. boundaries. They don't care about our boundaries. But your father and L2, he wasn't was in your life. All now he he had to do, to care. All homie had to do was literally stop referring to women as females. I asked him exactly. nicely. 
at the last live, I said, sir, 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 there are women in here and they do not feel comfortable being referred to as females. I said it and exactly then he like a man tantrum. Like, and then he came at me like, you trying to sit here and act all big and bad and tough in front of everybody. No, I'm not. I just, oh, Buddha Bay's here. Oh, boy. Hey y'all, I just want to say oh, something real quick and then I'll let Voodoo Bay come up. Um, oh, I'm at work oh. actually. Um, but what gets me is like what he just said when Tavia actually like sat there and explained to him what was going on and why and use it in an example, right? What gets me is how he's like, yeah, but it wasn't the women, it was Patrick. That's a problem. That's a big problem that I have. It's like when a black man stands up for us and says, hey, whoa. They don't like that. Like, let's refrain from that. It's like, oh, why are you inserting yourself? He's standing up for us. He knows, like, he's reading the room. He sees the comments. He also knows a lot of his supporters, like, and what we do or do not like, right? He know he understands what could be deemed as problematic and what is problematic for us. And so for you to sit there and not take it because it didn't come from a woman, like, if anyone can match your energy is another man, you don't want that energy energy to be matched by another man. You want a woman to tell you that so you can sit here and go head to toe with us for what? A black man told you, someone that's on your level, someone that you can actually sit there and tussle with. I don't mind tussling with them, but someone that's on your like head to head, you you're going to immediately be like, "Well, why are you inserting yourself with this?" No, it has nothing to do with that. You need to realize if it would have been a problem and if we were like, nah, Pat, that's not how we feel, we would have said that. You would have known if you would have paid attention. The thing is, you didn't want to go head to head with another man. So therefore, you're like, well, why a woman didn't tell me? You would have had the same problem. If a woman would have said it or not, you would have had the same problem. Now you're using Pat. Hold on, hold on. Hood, hood. Hood, get your sweaty ass out this lot, bro. Oh, we don't God. like you. He's in here again. Why? He's obsessed with the Badusi. <sighs> Look, we don't like you, white man. We it's don't a, like it, you. I'm telling you, Pat, it's a kink. At this point, it's a kink. <laughs> it's a kink. Homie, ass crack is moist as shit for me. Like, bro, <laughs> Okay, go I gotta go. go. Sorry, sorry, man. Sorry, man. Hey. <laughs> okay, I I'm have to go though, seriously. I'm at work. I just wanted to chime in. Tavia, I love you. You handled that as you always do. I love you to death, Queen. Um, but I will go let you let Voodoo Bay uh step up in here. I just have to say that. I'm at work, but I just have to say that. All right, bad. Could I piggyback off that real quick and then I'm gonna go too? Um but especially with, with um Keith and the young lady that just left. My thing is, and I and I'm glad the dude left because there's there's definitely a posture you can have in ignorance of being like I want to learn I want to understand, and then there's a posture and and the ignorance of to toxic masculinity that a lot of older black men have that we don't even need to give a platform to. I was listening to that old nigga. I'm like, shut the fuck up, <laughs> shut up. Like you don't need he, he he didn't need to talk because because at the end of the day, even in your ignorance, because I'm ignorant, we all have ignorance, especially in, in ways we don't know. But if you're not able to respect someone else, and, and, and a lot of the, the thing with the toxic masculinity is because they're misogynist, they just don't want to say it out loud. The reason he didn't want to respect your boundaries is because he don't respect women. That's just, that's, just, that's just how it goes. So at the end of the day, people that don't, aren't able to respect people, don't give a platform to. That, that's my thing. I'm like, that, like that, that shit pissed me off to so many levels of like, nah, this, this is elementary. My four-year-old son understands boundaries. So the 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 the, cogn the intellectual cognitive dissonance that he was trying to do, like immediately I'm like, nah, nigga, you understand, you understand, and you know what you're doing. You're you're you you don't respect women, and and it, and it's and and he's saying the the quiet things that he was saying is, is out loud, <laughs> and we don't even need to pretend. We don't need to pretend anymore. We he was saying it out loud. We, you don't understand a boundary, nigga. Shut the. You were just saying you don't want to be called nigga, Literally. and you don't understand exactly. the boundary. Immediately, like right there, Literally. that that's that's in, that's disingenuous intellectually, and you're lying yeah. to people. You don't respect women, nigga. That's <laughs> that's just what it is. And, and so part, and so nigga. and so to me, and, and so to me, when when I see that, I man, I, I I hate that that we that we have to sit there and and pretend as if um it's anything different. 
that is misogyny, that is toxic masculinity, and it, and, it, and that's what it is. I, f- I, I feel bad for those old niggas because of what the shit they had to go through, but they're a lost cause at the end of the day. This nigga that's said it. I was a sellout. Like, I'm a, like, Tabby, he said I was a sellout, sis. That was the only thing that he could come up with to try to, you know, throw a a point. And then all he was doing was having a a temper tantrum. All day long, this black man, this supposedly black man head and shit, you know what I'm saying, was in his feelings. And still, we needed to be heard. Once you took him out the box earlier, right? He been trying to get back in, get back in, get back in. He wants to say what he needs to say. Still not grasping what everyone else is saying around him. He had to make yeah, his point and his point only. I'm in the braid shop, so I'm like, go, because it's loud. I love you guys. And, like, he got to grow up. Okay, hey, sis, thank you. I love you, too. Uh, love I'm you. out, too. All right. Much love, y'all. Um, my, before my I go... thing is, is, is... Oh, go ahead, Javon. Oh, no, no, no. Go ahead, Sean. My bad, my bad. That's my fault. Go ahead. I was just going to say uh, two things before I go, and then I'm going to drop and let you, you know, handle your business. I'll be in the comments. But I wanted to say the first thing I wanted to do was call out uh, something that he did uh, with, whilst telling you that he thinks you should be setting a better example, like pushing forward the idea of respectability politics onto you, Patrick. Hi. Like, that's a supremacist tactic. Hello. Uh, I just, I'm kind of like new here. So I just wanted to know, like, what's the, like, w- why do y'all get so mad of being called females? And I'm I'm genuinely asking because I, me personally, okay. I don't feel some type of way when I get called a female. So I just want to understand. Oh yeah. Why, you know? It's, yeah. It's, no, it's no, so, it's no being funny. It's no. No, yeah. Being rude. I just want to know because it's like, um, if that really the, does offend y'all, I don't want to be a part of that. Sean, 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 baby girl, I got somebody that's gonna explain it to her perfectly. Okay. <laughs> no, I just that's I, I wish she didn't leave because I wanted to ask her because you know she. No, no, I kind of no. missed there, all of it. There's someone, there's someone right here who's gonna explain it perfectly. Guy, more fabulous. She wants to explain why women, majority of women, don't don't find comfort in someone referring to them as a female. She does. She's not yes. Sorry, I was trying to get my. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Hi, sister. How you doing? Um, I'm fine. I can barely hear you. I was fixing my camera. I think for me, sorry. I think for me, um, I can't speak for all women. <laughs> I can mm-hmm. only speak for my perspective, and my perspective of is um, um. It, <laughs> It makes me feel like a thing, like an mm-hmm. object, if, um, because most of my life, at least, we've been referred to as either women or ladies or girls um, growing up. So it, to me, it just started to become a thing in the last, since being on TikTok to be exact, um, and a little bit before, I've been on here three years, and it seems to be on here a lot. Um, and so when you look it up in a dictionary, you're going to see that it, part of the, the definition refers to the reproductive organs of women to reproduce and to have babies and that, that sort of thing. And it also refers to animals like, you know, like cats and dogs, um, any female that reproduces. And yes, from a gender perspective, we are females. Right, just like men are males or boys are males or girls are females. Yes, we do understand that, but I I think when it when men are talking, some men are talking about it. They're seeing us as a sex object, as a thing, as something they can just treat with disrespect, that they can just talk about us in any other way. Because you know, when men get together and they're probably talking about women that way more specifically yeah i'm gonna hit this female over here i'm gonna you know i'm gonna bag this female i'm gonna get this female Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. they're talking about us as if we're not human it dehumanizes us at least for me it dehumanizes Mm -hmm. me and i wasn't Mm -hmm. raised that way my brothers my all the men in our family we weren't raised that way so it's very disrespecting and condescending and it makes me feel like an object you know it, it just right. makes me feel right. almost as bad as when someone, not as bad as the N-word for me, 
but it's on that level. I just cringe because the N-word, who would want to be called the N-word, right? Because you feel disrespected, right. dehumanized, right. you know what that means. And I know right. someone who's more, right. who's smarter than I am can talk a little bit more about chattel slavery. In fact, that when we were up on the, on the auction, the auction tables or platforms, you know, people are like, I want a female because I want to reproduce. You know, we need to have more slaves. We need to reproduce. So they saw us think, they didn't even see us human. And we were right, considered right. just objects, you know? So that's some of my perspective and how I, I, I feel about it. Just, yeah, breeders. I saw that into the, yes. Um, I saw that in the um, chat. And so we're more than that. Yes, we are female and we do, we can reproduce. But that's just making us feel like we're absolutely nothing to you other than a thing that you can use to have babies and to have sex with us and to just use us how you want. That's all. That's how I describe it. I think okay. there's other people who can okay. be more eloquent than me. Okay, I think you like, thank okay, you for think actually you like, thank explaining you for and not being in the comments, not, you, know, the comments you know, saying some weird stuff. You're welcome. Because, because I, like I said, when before I got on here, I said I was genuinely asking because I did not know. So everybody in the comments that's like coming for me and stuff, like that's crazy that you're doing that. But now I understand that you, that you, put females as being breeders and now I understand why you guys don't like being called that and I understand it, and I will not do that because now I know and I again I, I thank you for actually explaining instead of having an attitude about it and thinking that I'm joking or I'm being a troll because that's not what I'm here to do um, well there, there yeah. wasn't to be I, fair just they, like everything hold, else hold, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on to be fair Hold on, Wait, fine. I came in interrupting. What? Yeah, you did. That's what I was gonna address. You did. You did kind of interrupt Sean when Sean was speaking. That's that's what they got mad about. To be fair, I did not. Fair. I did not interrupt her. It might have been like a connection issue, but I did not interrupt anything. Okay. I don't know. All can right. you point me? Can you point out where I interrupted her? Because I was literally, I was listening to her to her the whole time. No, I was in the middle of speaking, but it's I'm not, you know, tripping off of it. Not a big deal. It's okay. But that's it's what I'm asking. Deal. I'm like, what, I, I apologize if it seemed like I was interrupting you. I did not hear you. I don't know if it was connection thing. I did not mean to. So I apologize if I did that. But I came in here to ask yeah. a question. And when he added me, I just thought I could ask my question. No, yeah, absolutely. No, I'm not really tripping off of it. It's not that big of a deal. I know, like, TikTok's held together by duct tape anyway. So it's, Thank you. you know. Um, I would like to finish what I was saying, and then I can hop down. First, I want to say hi. Um, Voodoo Bay, how are you? Um, but I was, I was wanted to call out something that he had said to you, uh, if everyone remembers. Not to just bring up old things, but he said... Um, you should be setting a better example, Patrick. And that is like the the whole respectability politics thing is a white supremacist tactic uh, utilized on people with like a platform in order to say like, oh, you should be doing better. You should be more respectable. You should be, in my eyes, what is acceptable and uh, telling you and also tone policing you. And that is also another white supremacist tactic. And so I don't think someone who utilizes white supremacist tactics is qualified to talk about black issues. But that's just me um and the second thing that i wanted to say was uh i do hope everyone i, I don't know exactly what's going on i'm gonna hop down here soon because uh, i don't know what's going on i don't want to be in the way i don't want to be you know another fly on the wall um but i do hope everything gets you know sorted out i want to make sure everybody's doing self-care i want to make sure everybody's drinking water eating real food i want to make sure everybody's taking breaks where everybody's stretching going outside if you need to go outside getting fresh air everything that it is that you need to do and like be wary of this app because there are people who like do things um <coughs> i've heard some things about 
uh, some things that happened last night. And I just want to say, I don't know exactly if this is what happened or not. I haven't talked to anyone about it, but I do know that there are people who make fake accounts with our pictures on them and they say racist things and they do racist things in the comments and they try and stir up trouble within our communities and like try and pin us against each other. So I just wanted to say that I don't know exactly what happened. I don't know who said what, but I do know that that does happen very often. If anyone has any questions about that, really the person to ask about this is Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones knows all about these fake accounts that keep being made with our pictures on them. They say racist things in the comments. They stir up trouble and they do, you know, all types of back end things. I appreciate you guys listening. You're welcome. I want to say something real quick to that bitch ass nigga that was here earlier saying I got to be a better example. Nigga, I'm one of the greatest of all time in TikTok. I am. I'm one of the best that ever did it. I'm a first ballot Hall of Famer. Per. I ain't got to be better at nothing. I'm one of the best at what I do. I said what I said. And I ain't got to prove nothing. I ain't got to improve on anything. Fuck is you talking about? Talking about I got to sit here and be better. Fuck you, nigga. The fuck? Anyway, what's up, Buddha Bay? Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Good. Good. Um, so I don't, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know where to begin. Um, so first, I want to um, also add a layer on to that in regards to the female conversation, because a large part of the issue with that wording is that it is used to distance men from women's humanity. Because if you listen to their casual conversation, they never refer to men as males. And the only time they do that is when they are trying to differentiate themselves from being real men and males. So it's always used as a derogatory term, like I'm a real man. Men that act like that, those are males. They're not men, right? And this term female, we all know that female can be used for anything. A female dog, i.e. the word bitch being used so casually. So we all know this. They use that term because what they are doing is distancing themselves from our humanity. We're not human. We're not women. We're females. We are objects to be used in whatever manner in which they choose. And they can also enact violence against us because they have distanced ourselves, distanced themselves from our humanity by wording. Etymology is important. Words mean things. You call me a woman, I'm now a person, a human being, a flesh and blood. You call me a female, I can be anything. I can be a dog. You get? And so this is where women, even if they don't have the words to articulate why it doesn't feel right in their spirit, this is why. Because it is dehumanizing to us. And it is done to dehumanize. Pay attention to the casual conversations that men have. They never be like, yeah, I'm about to go kick it with these males. Why not? Why don't they say that? The only time they use male is when they are referring to men in a derogatory term to separate themselves, the hierarchy, from the, the males. They never do that. So pay, the, the casual conversations and how we use wording means something. We are females to them because they don't want to see our humanity. And this is why I don't allow them to do this. This is why I don't run around calling women bitches and casual conversation. Yeah, bitch, I don't do that shit. I don't let my friends do it to me. And I certainly don't let people call me female, men or women. And this is why. And I hope that that, you know, help give you some more answer as to your question of why we don't like it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like I said, I, I want to understand because I did not, I didn't know, I did not know. So I thank you guys for explaining it the way that you did, because now I get a better understanding. And yeah, that's that's literally all I was asking. I was not trying to be rude. If I came off rude, I apologize. Oh, I didn't um, take it as rude. I didn't take it as rude. I definitely took it as an opportunity. Well, some of the some of the comments took it as rude, and I do apologize to anybody in the comments that felt some type of way. I am I apologize, but I was just asking because I was genuinely. I just want you guys to know, I was genuinely asking because I did not know. 
No, you you were not you were not rude for asking a question. Never feel that is it is rude to ask a genuine question, especially if in your heart and spirit you are being genuine about it. What they had it what they had what they got irritated about was that Sean was interrupted. Not once but multiple times. Right. I wanted that's why I wanted to that's, that's address that too. So I thought <coughs> Sean was the lady who was talking. Yes. I couldn't see all of the I could not see all of the boxes, so I do apologize to I think it's her pronouns are her. Am I correct? Yeah, she her, yeah. So I apologize to her. I did not I could not see her. I could not hear her. I was just listening to Mo. So I do apologize. Um and yeah, that's all I can say. But thank you guys again for explaining to me in a respectful way. You're good. So You're what welcome. happened with Actually, why was everybody sending me the live? What what happened? I'm not in it. You and Songbird. I actually wanted to ask the question. Is okay. Wait a minute. I want to like, that done. Wait one second. One second. Oh, sorry, Voodoo. I yeah, yeah, yeah. my connection bad. Yeah, Voodoo was talking. About no, that. no, no. So she came on here and had so essentially she inboxed me and I responded. So I'm not clear about what happened. So I'm going to say this. I said what I said, when I said it, and how I said it. And I meant what I said. I approached her with respect. I approached her in a way that was I deemed necessary and in a way that I deemed necessary. Again, public forums, public conversations. I wasn't disrespectful to her in any way. And when she DM'd me, I, I simply said, we will disagree on all points. And that's as simple as that is. I don't know what her, you know, what she was aiming to accomplish by coming on here and speaking publicly. But if you didn't want to speak publicly, why speak publicly? Because I would have never she, came, she came in. She came in addressing the people in the comment sections who called her an op and anti-black. Okay. Well, then that's that, what, that's that, what she initially came in for. It okay. wasn't because of you. She initially came in to address the people and she was right for that. She was. We sat on there last night and I said, yeah, she's not yeah, an op. Her, yeah. So she had, yeah. But the stuff about you, Voodoo, you know I love you, and you know I'm cool with Songbird. I'm not getting into any business or any type of disagreements with two black women. That's not me. Shout out to everybody in the comment section who understood the fucking assignment. Thank you. <laughs> you saw, and I noticed that, that, right? Not a single nothing. person. Everybody was like, shit, go ask Songbird. Don't be asking me. Go ask her. <laughs> right. And I respect that. If she, you know, she needed to get up here and speak her piece about being called an op and whatever and whatnot and, you know, defend her position. I respect that. That has nothing to do with me. I said what I said. I meant what I said. And I feel like it was a learning lesson for all of us as a community about alliances about being allies in places where you are disrespected. And I feel like that that was the whole point of my comment. That was my whole point of making the statement. My, that was my whole point of pointing it out. That was my reason. And I stand firmly on that. And I'm sorry if you don't, if you are embarrassed or you have an issue with things that you are saying, maybe you shouldn't be saying them publicly. That's my point, because there's always somebody listening. There's always somebody there. I took particular offense to it because we had spent hours on that live and did some great work. There were some amends made. And no, everybody didn't walk away from that live, you know, in perfect condition. But there was a lot of work done. Pat, we sat on that live for hours. You were there. And you know what she did afterwards? I was highly offended. But I didn't attack her, right? But again, you cannot go in one place and do one thing, then come back to our place and do another thing and say another thing, and then you can't do that. And so that's why I spoke up about it, because I didn't agree with that. And I still don't agree with that. But I definitely didn't attack her. I definitely used it as a, as a learning curve for all of us to say, sis, we're your fam. Always remember that. When you're doing this, when you're aligning with people that are anti-Black, 
remember that one day you gonna be the black person that they're anti against. I want to ask something. Um, I, I know that my good friend Songbird is live, so I want to make it very known and very clear. I have a very large fan base, and I have a very large fan base of people who get very bored and want to do detective work for me. Trust me, I will know if somebody from this chat that is watching this live is running over to Songbirds and trying to lie. And Songbird is more than welcome. I, She's more than welcome to come up on here and have a conversation if she wants to have a conversation. Because again, I would have I never... I think that would be a good ass idea, actually, yes. I, I want people to go tell Songbird to end her life, to come here and talk and end it. Yeah, I would never <laughs> have went public and had any more conversation about it. It was said what it was said. It was dead. It. Even I speak when he came in, he talked about the learning curve that was created. We talked about it. It was done. I he said what... She I think said what idea. Yeah, she said idea. Yeah, she said what she had what she had to say to me in the DMs. I responded. That's the end of it. Why come on public forums to make a, a conversation that you clearly didn't want public more public? Why do that? That don't make no sense to me. It could have just been, it, it could have just been done. That's all I'm saying. There's, and there's nothing, I'm not acquiescing on anything. I'm not taking it back. I'm certainly not apologizing. I meant everything that I said. I meant everything that I did. And it is what it is. I disagree with her on her interpretation of what happened. And therefore we, that's, we hear. <coughs> Go ahead, Rose. Voodoo Bay, let me just tell you that you really fucking pretty. Oh, uh, my God, you're gorgeous. And I'm not going to lie. You act like my mother. I ain't going to hold you. Wait, wait and... you're rolling your eyes. You don't want me to get my, my pretty comments today, Ted. Hater. Bye. Nah, Patrick, you beautiful, too. Beautiful, you, you pretty, beautiful too, boo. too. You pretty, Don't get too. twisted. <laughs> don't get it twisted, Patrick. You beautiful, right. too. She's on her way. So when she's on her way, Rose, sarcasm, queen, Mo Fab, when 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 Songbird comes, I have to clear the box so the two ladies can speak. Yeah, I will turn the comments off because y'all be mm -hmm. y'all too fucking messy in the comment section. Way too messy and way I too. I did. Bad. I did want to ask something though. I did want to ask something. What's the difference between shorty and female? If anybody could explain that, I just want to ask that question. So kind of connotation. Essentially, the, it's like saying. She's here. I see her here. I'm going to wait till Voodoo Bay finish and then I'm going to clear the box. It's yeah, like the difference out. between saying nigga and nigga. Er. You get? It's yeah. When, it, and it's how it's it's the energy and the intent behind the word. What'd you just say there, young lady? Right. You just, you just called me a nigga. Uh huh. Right here, baby. You call me no goddamn nigga. <laughs> <laughs> right. Even though I don't like the word bitch, right? There's mm -hmm. a difference between your homegirl be like, yeah, bitch, and the nigga be like, you fucking bitch. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Like the, it, yeah, no, I got you. It, th there's there's differences. Like, to me, I feel like <coughs> when I, because don't get me wrong, I stay female and I stay shorty. And with me, I say it, I say it towards my friends, I say it towards, like, m even my family. And I never really understood the difference of two different meanings. And when I got onto TikTok, you know, when I, I ended up saying female um, on my live, and, and it was with one of my mutuals. And people were getting so mad in the comments and, and stuff. So I switched um, female to shorty. And people were still mad about it. But I didn't understand the difference because yeah. with me, I see it as. I, I don't say. I, I, I'm actually training myself to stop saying shorty as well. I'm from Jersey. And my yeah. mom my, from Haiti and was raised in Brooklyn. So was she, ah, shorty. We still yeah. say shorty down here in the yeah. A, shorty. I don't know what the hell you talking like about. Me, me and my sister learned shorty from my mother. And yeah. I, like, I, I couldn't help stop. Like. I came on this app. This app taught me a lot of shit. This app taught me that non-binary people exist. I didn't know what non-binary was. And yeah. I've been bisexual my whole damn life. I didn't know that that was a thing. I didn't know. I had no mm -hmm. idea. There was a lot of things I didn't know. I didn't know female was bad. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know that 
And you know what? This is going to be pretty bad. I made a post last year when I was flirting with this indigenous woman. Beautiful. Fire. Sexy as hell. And I sat here and called her that one Disney character like an idiot. Oh, Pocahontas. And I did not oh. know that thing. I got dragged for a whole week for it. And I did not. I didn't <laughs> Only know. Only a week? I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh, it's good to, no, and it's I, good to learn. I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. I did not know. And so I learned and never did that again. And then I looked up indigenous stuff that, that would offend them. And I know exactly what to say and not to say around them. Yes, I said that. I didn't know. I didn't know better. I'm from the projects. That's what I like. I like yeah, when I, and I feel and I feel like when because don't don't get me wrong, my father from New York, he he from Spanish Harlem, and my mother from Jersey, and you know I grew up on you know the slang, and I grew up the way that they grew up. Now my parents always taught me like the way that they grew up, never like look at like this new generation, and you know me saying shorty and um female and shit like that it was never really anything bad you know i used to say it all the time and now i'm getting more i'm trying my hardest really not to say it on like the platform because you know people do i understand that people do get um offended and people do get um very very sensitive about the topic so i've been trying my hardest like not to say it on the app even though yes i have my outside life that it, it, without tiktok that i do say it still but i learned how to say it without the like without being on the platform you know so i am learning to exactly like patrick I, i'm trying to learn but that's all I wanted to ask. But thank you so much, Voodoo Babe. You're a queen. Patrick, you also a queen. Per and um, <laughs> um, I forget. I don't know your name. The one in the bottom. I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna call you Heart Butterfly and Pride Flag. <laughs> but <laughs> love you, girl. I'm dead. And sarcasm. I know I didn't get to talk to you really, but thank, but thank all of you guys. All right. Um, I'm gonna take Rose down. Sarcasm Queen. I'm going to add you back in, so send your request back in after I step you down, because I want the box cleared in the comments also. My two good friends can speak to each other and, and dead be done with it, for the love of Christ. So is that okay with everybody? You two love mother. Christ? Yes. <laughs> yes, but I got a, I got a, I got a grievance to air. So <laughs> since we were on the subject about black women and respecting women, so, and I saw somebody in this box who does not do that. So I would like to address that after Miss Voodoo Bay gets to speak her piece and songbird too. All right. Bye. Somebody in trouble. All right, Mo, I'm bringing you down. That tea is hot. Tea is spicy. <laughs> so I, I want to be compensated for being a mediator. So yeah, y'all give me my money. I I'm think my, you should get paid for that. Yeah, I need to get paid. So this is yeah, put my gorgeous ass face. All right, y'all go ahead and talk. No, I mean I, I, I sent a message and basically that's that's what I said. I my entire platform and my lives are always meant to be spaces for black, indigenous, Latinx, LGBTQIA plus. That's what my lives are about. So my lives were my live after the live with nuggets had nothing to do with bashing anybody that was in that live um with anti-blackness i held a space for anybody and people came into my box that came into my box so i mean for me to be called out for that i'm not understanding the problem well, I have I have screen recording of that live. Um, I can make video of it, and people can decide whether it was accurate. What you're saying is accurate. That's fine. I'm I'm fine. With I it. absolutely bashed Nuggets, uh, and I spoke to Nuggets in the live with Pat because I believe that Nuggets is a white supremacist who enacted violence on the Black and Indigenous community. You aligned with anti-Black people to attack nuggets despite blackness. That's what happened on that live. I don't understand what- I'll let you finish and then, you know, you could talk and then I'll talk, but I'm not gonna talk over each other. I, A, again, I did not know anything that Anna said about Breezy. I've never talked about Breezy. I don't know Breezy. I don't, 
discuss breezy breezy has not been a part of this conversation um, my heat has always been aimed at nuggets because nuggets was a so-called white ally who came into the community and enacted violence from what i had seen of ash and anna's behavior at that point i did not believe them to be anti-black or i would not have had them in my box i've okay. never allowed anti-black people to come in and disparage black people in my presence um, Anna is very anti-black and they hold spaces with anti-blackness. You were in one last night and then you came running over to this side to report said anti-blackness with the same. I didn't come running over here. I was, I was sent most notifications by at least 30 people okay, well, that Pat wanted me to come into the live. You were in the same, you were in the box or in the live with the same people who we're discussing, who were allowing anti-blackness with that was. And I called them out on it. Why I called them out on it. I talk, Songbird. Why are you doing that? Because you're saying things about me that are not true. Okay. So what is what would you like to come of this conversation? I didn't ask for this conversation. Okay. So then as I say- But you don't get to call me anti-Black. I didn't call you anti-Black. And I didn't align myself with anti-Black people. When I was in Ash's Live yesterday, I was in there defending Black people. I was in there calling out- anti-indigeneity that's what i did in that live okay well again we can agree to disagree and like i said i have screen recordings of that live i can do whatever needs to be done with that with that li with that those screen recordings and then people can judge for themselves and make their own decisions what when is it that you're saying that i did you're talking about receipts what are the, what is it that you're saying that i did that was anti-black or aligning with that songbird I'm not going to have a conversation with you where you speak over me because I don't know who you think I am or what you think this conversation is about or any of that. But if you want to have an equitable conversation, then you have to speak. I allow you to speak. Then I speak. The problem is that you feel embarrassed. That's the real problem. Because in your comments, in my DMs, you spoke about talking privately and a thousand people, which which leads me to believe that you were embarrassed because so many people saw that conversation. But my thing is this, if you're gonna talk publicly, then there's public conversations being had. When you came into my DMs and I responded, I was done with that conversation. You came on Pat's Live and you know said what you had to say and brought me up. I wasn't going to speak publicly about this anymore. There was nothing to be said. The learning curve was had. The point that I was making on that live last night was simply to black people about aligning with communities outside of their own and what happens when you do that, which is exactly what happened. You were in those spaces and then you learned last night how that anti-blackness shows up. That was my whole point. When people came in the comments and were talking about you being an op, Pat and I both said, she's not an op. That wasn't the point. This was a learning lesson, as did I speak, came in there and talked about it being a learning lesson about us closing ranks in our community, about not aligning with other communities above our own, about noticing and calling out and not aligning with people that are anti-Black and allow anti-Blackness in their spaces. That was what the whole conversation is about. Anything else is neither here nor there to me. And when you came in my DMs, I was done with the conversation when I responded. I was not gonna come on live and get to talking about you. There was nothing else to be said. The fact though that people think that they like educated me or schooled me, I did not align with other communities above my own. I wasn't aiming to educate or school you. You could do whatever you wanna do. It was used as a learning curve for the community and the people that were in the live. So Again, I'm still waiting for someone. I, I, I I'm still waiting for anybody to explain to me how I aligned with other communities above black people. Every, there were thousands of people that are in this live that were also in Ash's live. I would love to know how I aligned with indigenous people above my own people yesterday, because what I did in that live was advocate for blackness and talk about how black experiences shouldn't be erased by indigenous people and call out anti-indigenous behavior by indigenous creators in that live. The live that you held after that live that we were on with Nuggets and Breezy, that's not what you did. That's not what you did. That's not what you did. 
the I'm talking about Ash's was, live last night, and I would love for you to tell me what I did then in my own life. What did I do in my own life? I'm not talking about Ash's live last night because that is after the fact. I wasn't speaking to you about Ash's live. When you came on last night, I spoke to you about the live you had after the live me and Pat had with Nuggets and Greasy and Booker and all of us. That was the only thing I addressed you about. Anything that has happened after that is none of my concern because it was none of what I spoke about. I spoke to you about the live you held after we all got off that live from a week ago or whenever that was. That was the only thing I spoke to you about, Songbird. Anything and I'm still trying to figure that? out what I did in that live that was putting aligning myself with other people above my own people when that live was for anybody that wanted to come in and decompress to do so. Just because you have people of different demographics in your life doesn't mean that anti-blackness is not happening. It doesn't mean that you're not aligning with people who perpetuate anti-blackness. None of that negates the facts. And the things that you were saying and the conversations that you were having, the dismantling of the work that we had just sat there and done between black women, because I said that many times on that live, that I was invested in the healing between black women, which took place. Nuggets was not my issue. On that live, I handed Nuggets her ass and then proceeded to deal with the black women <coughs> who were dealing with the fallout and the separation. Booker and Breezy and you know that was my investment. I didn't care about mm -hmm. Nuggets. You were so mad at Nuggets, rightfully so, that you negated and ignored the black women and black woman who was being attacked by your people, Anna, who you were aligning with, who, who spewed anti-blackness against Breezy, not only by calling her a bitch, but by calling her a walking hate crime and threatening her in that video. And I feel like this song, Bird, if you're gonna be talking about an issue, then you should probably know all of the moving parts. So it's very difficult for me to, for you to say, I didn't see that video. I didn't know she called I her. didn't see it. Then why would you be speaking on things that you don't know what you're talking about? I didn't about? speak on a video that I didn't see. I didn't speak on anything that I didn't well, you see. Cannot, you cannot, be a part of a conversation that is a bigger conversation where that video was very much the centerpiece of the conversation and then hold lies about said conversation and you don't know what's going on. You can't do that. I, okay, well then we'll have to agree to disagree on that. I comment on, on what I saw. I can't be everywhere on every platform knowing everything that's going on. I didn't see that video. I am not like intimate close friends with uh, Ash or Anna. I did not know that. And I will, I am not going to negate what I said. I don't believe that lives are places where like real sustained change happens. I don't believe that. I believe that they can be the catalyst for further conversations and further healing and change. But I don't believe that having a conversation with somebody over a period of four hours changes who that person is fundamentally. Okay. So I, I don't, I'm never going to agree with that. That's not, I don't believe that's what this platform does. I don't believe that's what this platform is designed to do. And I don't think that's how sustained internal change happens over a period of three or four hours in a artificial space, like a live. Okay. So here's, we, we will end this and agree to disagree on this, but I will give you this bit of advice. If you're going to be holding lives and spaces and in-depth conversations about very sensitive topics, I would strongly suggest having all of the information and knowing all the moving parts. I understand you can't be everywhere and know everything, but you're talking about a centerpiece of the entire issue that was happening. That video was a, a vast majority of the reason for the entire conversation. So if you are going to be holding space for said conversation, it takes three minutes to, at max to watch a video. And so it would have taken three minutes to know a video that I didn't know existed. I didn't know said I video don't know existed. How because we played it on that live several times. I wasn't in that whole live. I wasn't about. in the live the entire time. Then and I left Songbird, before the live was over. You. Then, then Songbird, I would behoove you to take responsibility and have all of the information before you hold spaces and conversations around very sensitive topics and issues. That's all I'm saying. Because if you don't know what's going on, then you can't act responsibly. And that's sure. And the rest we will agree to disagree on. Absolutely.
Okay. Is everyone okay now? Yes. Yeah, I was fine. Honestly, Pat, I wasn't even upset. I wasn't even upset about, you know, her coming over here and speaking. Obviously, when 10 people send you the live, then I show up. Like, hey, what's going on? But even in, you know, the conversation, I really wanted to educate us as Black people about how to align with ourselves and other communities and what to do and not what to do. And that was the whole point of the conversation. Guys in the um, comment section, I want to make this very clear. Thornburg is still my friend. Do not disrespect him. Yeah, but this isn't about like canceling right, Thornburg. Right. Yeah. That's that is my friend. That is my friend. That is my friend. You may not agree with her, or you do agree with her. I don't care. Do not disrespect her in my presence, or I will block you immediately. That's simple as that. Go ahead. Hey, y'all. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, can can y'all hear me? Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm a uh, in, in the words of, of of my 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 good, I wouldn't call her a good friend because she don't really know me, but I know her. Parking lot pimping, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it black and I'm gonna keep it brief, you know what I'm saying? I, I think what we're at right now, right, is a precipice of a thought process that we don't get to pick and choose what we take accountability on when we're on this platform. We don't. We don't get to pick and choose when someone does something that we might have previously, you know, uh, held space and or dwelled in the presence of. We don't get to pick and choose. And let's be very clear before I continue, because I don't want anyone. I, I know how y'all operate. Y'all goofies. I know how y'all goofies operate. I'm not being subliminal to anyone. I'm speaking generally. One thing about me is my smoke is rated E for everyone. Let's be very clear about that. So I don't want nobody saying, oh, he's, you know, subliminally talking about such and such. No, I'm speaking generally. If I'm going to put an address on it, I'm going to put an address on it. Let's be very clear about that. For those of us that do content whereby we're doing this for long periods of time, right? We are held to different standards. And I, I will say this until I'm blue in the face, until the ends of the moon. However, comma, what we don't get to do is to disassociate ourselves from the things in which people say have taken place in our spaces. Y'all, give me just a second. Somebody says that I speak reminds him of MLK. I would kind of, <laughs> <laughs> I would kind of no, agree with that. He got, he got the same head shape, that I <laughs> And his cadence of speak. <laughs> Yo, let me let me ask y'all a question. Does 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 I speak's head shape give you is is giving very much Ted the teddy bear? The one that was in a Mark Wahlberg movie? Like when I saw I speak in person at the Blammies and I gave him a hug. I was like, damn, my nigga head big as hell. I was like, damn, these faces give him very much head. Kind of gives me Teddy right there. <laughs> you know what's going on. Teddy Grams. <laughs> uh, anybody who says Ice Week don't look like a teddy bear is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Let me finish out oh, my right. thought. So, um, we're held we're held to different standards and different expectations. And what we don't get to do is pick and choose when we want to be the the leading voice, when we want to be a supporting voice. The reality is that the majority of us are leading voices in this fight, right? And just because we have equitable dialogue amongst ourselves doesn't mean that we're just casting people to the shadows. And I want to be very clear, Songbird is a supporter of mine, and I've been a supporter of Songbird as well. So I'm, I'm not going to uh, allow that in my space either, because I know how y'all get, how y'all goofies get down. Y'all say, oh, she came on to love, and no, 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 no. Well, I think this, I think that. Gone are the days where y'all do all of this subliminal nonsense. Right. If you ain't got no address, don't address it. Period. 
unless you're going to acknowledge that you're speaking generally so that there's no lateral violence that takes place toward an individual. Now, I can definitely understand the sentiment of the denial of someone's blackness, 1,000%. However, comma, generally speaking, we do not get to disassociate ourselves from people that we've shared space with that have perpetuated certain sentiments. Now, does it suck? Sure, because we don't know everything. We don't know everything about these individuals. We don't know about every single video that they've made. We don't know about every single space in which they've uh, 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 existed in. I'll give you a prime example. This is me putting an address on it. Hey, baby. I just recently came across an indigenous creator, Raven, to whereby I found out yesterday that they were on a live saying, you people. I got a problem with that. That doesn't negate the fact of my support for that individual, but I got a problem with that. I have a clear cut problem with that. And I don't want to rehash anything that has already taken place or whatever the case may be. This is me just saying, this is someone that I supported. This is something that they said, and this is something that they need to be held accountable for. Absolutely. Oh, wait, not to- Hold on, let me correct you. I think it was Groovy that said you people. Raven was the one that mentioned something about support matter and basically recognition for doing the bare minimum for our community. That okay, got you, got you, got you, got you. Because from what I heard yesterday, they said that Raven said you people. So I apologize in that regard. But again, there we go, right there. If I would have just jumped out the gym, that's a perfect, oh man, I love how lessons just come together. That was a perfect way for me to acknowledge something that I heard, right? You corrected me. Therefore, if I would have made a video, I would have been completely in the wrong. Completely in the wrong without going to get the information. So restate the information that was heard, right? And then you go and get clarification. That's what we have to do. We have to seek those deeper understandings. <clears throat> so now I'm like, oh, okay, cool. That makes sense. Now we can have equitable dialogue in that regard to bring about sustainable change over the course of you know, time periods. Now, one thing I will say, Songbird, I don't know if you're still in here, but I do want to push back against something that you said. You said j just a few minutes ago that you don't believe sustainable change happens in this artificial space. And I have to disagree with that. There are mountains, scores of molds that are broken in spaces like these to whereby individuals, mindsets, as well as sentiments, astronomically increase, as well as individuals whom's trajectory of their lives have been changed as a result of a live stream. So I want to tell you, do not diminish the value of your own platform because you have no idea the amount of modes that you've broken on your platform. And I'm not going to sit here and mince words. I've sat in your lives. I've seen some very transformative conversation take place. I've seen trajectories change. So I want to push back against that and tell you, do not diminish the value of your power because many of us, we will do that. When we're, when we're used to dwelling in this space, it's, it's normal to us, right? Success, greatness, it's normal to us because it's hardwired in us, right? To where about, excuse me, other people that may not, that picture is just killing me every time you go. Blind. Right. It's what just taking me what out every single time. And I'm trying to keep a straight face, but every time you go blank, I just want to crack up. Nonetheless, <laughs> final thought. As we continue to, to, um, to operate in this space. We have to understand that even myself, it's been rough for me sometimes to learn certain things about my mutuals, to learn certain things about people that I didn't think would perpetuate a certain sentiment. But we gotta be able to take that accountability and not just, we can jump to defensiveness, absolutely nothing wrong with that, but we gotta be able to listen, including myself, including myself. I wanna be very clear about that. Yes? How many tracks? Oh, that's a lot of tracks. All right, count them out. So in that, right, we got to be able to understand that none of us, none of us are free from accountability, including myself. I want to be very clear about that. So all of the extra stuff from all of you goofies that are going to try to perpetuate this conflict between Voodoo Bay and Songbird, don't do that. Don't do that. They had an equitable conversation. They came to an agree to disagree about certain things. They agreed on, you know, whatever they agreed on, leave it there. Leave it there. I, I, I know how you goofies operate. Y'all hop on all of these residual. Right. Give me a second. Give me a second, sir. I wanna, sir I wanna, give me a second. And I want to add on to that. Yeah. On, um, speaking on things and putting addresses to it, I'm going to put an entire fucking uh, map on it. TV Head. I don't know if you guys remember the username TV Head. 
He was the one that was going back and forth with me about the Andrew Tate conversation we had last week. He was the one who spearheaded this bullshit in the comment section calling Sunberg an op. Me and you got problems now. So the next time you hop on this platform, you're going to have to come see me. And I'm specifically talking about you. Absolutely. You want to be the for a while with that fucking bullshit ass, oh, oh, Songbird's an op. Songbird's not a fucking op. Just because you see her do something differently than you agree with does not make her a fucking op. If she's an op for hosting space where it's multiple different ethnicities and races together speaking, then I'm an op too. Then Ant's an op. Then Voodoo Bay, well, not Voodoo Bay. I guess uh, uh, Sarcasm and Queen's an op. I guess we're all ops. Because this is bullshit. You're not an op for sitting here holding space for different people to understand each other. Just because Voodoo Bay doesn't want to do it doesn't make her anti anything either. And I want to make sure that is also addressed as well. This is the shit we was talking about last week. Like, y'all, like, when, when, Ebony, when Ebony was on the live and they were having a discussion with Songbird. Like, this, this flip flop is bull crap. I see, I see his baby in there, so I want to make sure I ain't cursing. Like, that flip flop and bull crap, I don't like that. You're not real, you're not real stands, you're not real supporters, you're not real nothing. Y'all mess. And y'all think our peoples is not watching when y'all flip flopping going live to live to live to live. You think I ain't seen some of y'all in this live right now that was talking shit about uh, uh me and Ash's live that came over here talking shit about stop it. My nigga, I know who talking shit. But the thing is, that used to bother me. That don't bother me no more. That makes me happy. Because the more you speak on this, the more you speak on Voodoo Bay, the more you speak on Ant, the more you speak on Songbird and Carnival Gal, the more relevant you are making us. And here's the deal, too. I'm calling them out. I'm calling them out. There was an individual I, I hold to the live yesterday where I was calling out one of my mutuals that was flip-flopping like flip-flops. And then there was another person that came right to my comment section. And I'm like, yo, I just seen you in Blaze's comment section. What's up with it? Oh, he sent me the video. There's only two ways you can send somebody a video. If you inbox it to him or if you text it to him. Why are you that close to somebody you know don't fuck with me? And you say you fuck with my platform. Bye-bye to the gulag you go. Call them straight out. We are No longer will you get private grace for public disrespect. The off-ramp to the high road is closed. Stop it. And many of y'all, when I, when I say y'all, I'm talking about the goofies. Y'all perpetuate this sentiment, and then you get mad when you get called out. Well, here's the reality of it. If you're going to operate and hold space on this platform to the tune of being seen as a leading voice, you're going to be criticized. And sometimes by the, by the very people that you hold space with, by the very people that you work alongside. And you know what needs to happen? Sometimes you need to take a step back. And I will be the first to admit that it's rough. It's rough. But the more you hold these spaces, the more you host these conversations, you thereby become residually responsible for what takes place in your space. You cannot only identify with the part of the conversation that makes you feel good. You can't. And one of the things about being a host, watch this, there's some things that you're gonna miss. There's some things that those screen recordings are going to reveal. So sometimes taking a step back and being be able to say like, whoa, maybe that did take place in my space. Well, can you make me aware of what took place in my space? Instead of saying, oh, no, 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 that didn't happen. Because the worst thing that can happen is you make a video gets made about you. And these two words are said. You ready? This you. Uh, <laughs> then you really embarrass them. Then all of a sudden it's, oh, we could have had a private conversation. No, no, no. Publicly, you said it didn't happen. I'm saying it did. So what does that make me in the eyes of the people that listen to you? A liar. And guess what I'm not going to be made to be? A liar. So in that, sometimes we got to take a step back, right, and recognize, okay, this took place in my space. All right, cool. Let me go ahead and acknowledge this, right? And, and I told Ash this yesterday. You do not. Anyone, again, I'm speaking generally, but this is what I told Ash. You do not, as a content creator, get the opportunity to take that grenade, throw it up into the atmosphere, and then complain about where the shrapnel lands. You don't get to do that. You don't. Because then your credibility gets shot to shit. Period. You don't get to do that. So if you're hosting a space or you're facilitating a space where violence is taking place, or lateral violence to other communities, you gotta eat that. 
you got to eat that and say, you know what? I'm going to acknowledge it. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check it. So anyone that's perpetuating this type of behavior, for the most part, <laughs> all of us have large platforms. Some of us have large, moderate, and I say growing, not small, growing, right? However, there's a huge difference between clout and credibility. And for those of us that have leading voices, we have that credibility to where our people are going to listen to us. And in that, we need to ensure that we are striking down those sentiments, i.e., if you are someone in my comment section that is doxing, harassing, or uh, using anti-any community rhetoric, I don't support that. I don't support bullying, harassment, doxing, all that. Make it very clear what you stand on. So anyone in my comments that is perpetuating this type of behavior, you are not a supporter of mine, period. You draw that line in the sand and you let your supporters know where you stand and where you fall. But again, final thought, I want to reiterate. You do not get to hold spaces, throwing grenades up into the atmosphere, whether it be good intention or bad intention, and then complain about where the shrapnel lands. You don't get to do that. So if you're going to do that and you're going to complain about the residual responses, you're going to hear from me first. Shut the fuck up. Stop holding these spaces. And I'm not talking to nobody specifically. I'm speaking very generally. Stop holding these spaces. Stop facilitating these dialogues. Because clearly, you don't have the range for it. Clearly, you don't have the wherewithal, right, to be able to understand the holistic nature of what it takes to facilitate these types of spaces. And that, that'll be the end of what I got to say. I think, you know, from what I was trying to, to get across, and I think what I'm really going to start focusing on is Black people as a Black community, because what, I, what, I've, what I've always known, but what has became, become even more abundantly clear is that people don't respect us. They don't respect our community. They don't respect our spiritual practices. They don't respect us. And this is where I, I get this um, real like protective nature about us, where I get this um, communal energy, right? And I don't hate anybody or anything more than I love black people. And I'm never going to align. So y'all know for me, misogynist and patriarchy is my number one thing that I hate, right? But let me tell you what I'm not ever gonna do. I will never align with a white person or a white supremacist or somebody that uses anti-blackness against a black man, even if he's a misogynist or whatever. I'm never going to align with somebody outside of my community to take down another black person or allow, a, and here's a prime example. I did a video TikTok, took it down in 2.2. It had like 100,000 views in like 30 minutes. But it was a white man that came on my platform and started talking about black men. And like, and I went ham in this video. I should try to re-upload it. But I went ham on this video. And I was like, don't you dare ever come in these spaces because there's black men that I would ride and live for. Like, you don't get to come in my space and da, da, da. And I think there's a big lesson in us learning. You remember that video? Speak. I went ham on this white man. I was like, don't you ever come in here talking about black men. I don't care what I'll say what I want because these are my brothers, my uncles, my father. I can speak to them. You, you going to shut up. But, Bay, can, I, can I address a comment real quick? Jed sure. says that I created all this damage. You talk about me? Hello. Hey, Pat. You say I created all this shit? This is my fault. No, problem. no, I did not say that. No. Okay, then what, was you, what no, did you say? I did not say that. I said modern modern warrior created all of this smoke, and. It is creating so much damage between mutuals on this app, between the black community and the indigenous community. It's modern warrior's fault. All of this is on him. I would never say that about you, Pat. Never. I never I said lost. that. Hold up, what? Because 
I ain't start shit. <laughs> I want to. I, I want to address another comment. Uh, Carnival Gal just I, asked. I didn't are, are say. We, are we friends with Nugget? I did I'm not, not say you started Nugget. anything, Pat. So I don't know why that question was asked, but I'm up here on the panel, so I'm going to answer that question. I'm Nugget not friends with Nugget. Nugget isn't on this app anymore. Fuck no. Right. So I don't even know. Uh, I'm not sure where that came from, but I wanted to strike that down. Yeah, Nuggets isn't even on the app. Who said that, Carnival Gal? Mm-hmm. I don't speak to Nuggets no more now. Yeah, Nuggets is not. She's she's not. No, even I don't. I don't speak to Nuggets no more. I just oh, speak Nuggets. I mm -hmm. only crazy. I do not speak to Nuggets no more. I do not. Nuggets. Well, if Nuggets is back, I I was not privy to that. I had no idea, and most of us on here didn't because obviously we're not in communi communication. Great. Now I wanna I wanna ask this. After everything you guys saw that Anna did, are you guys still friends with Anna? You see what I mean? You see how that goes? That's what I'm saying. If we're gonna sit here and do it one way. Then we gotta ask the other way. You get what I'm saying, Carnival Gal? Because you saw a you saw a, okay, let me put it this way. You saw an indigenous woman who acknowledges that they are white presenting call a black woman out her name vigorously in a three minute video. Nuggets didn't even do that. Nuggets just hosted a live and was messy. You see what I'm saying? So if we're gonna do, if we're gonna, if if we're gonna do that, cool. Then let's do it that way. Fine. If we're, I'm not friends with Nuggets no more. No, I haven't talked to Nuggets since that. I have nothing to say to her. Nuggets be doing the absolute most. Absolutely not. I try to give Nuggets chance after chance after chance after chance. No, I'm not doing it. And even on that live, none of us were defending Nuggets. I handed Nuggets her ass on that live. You know what I'm saying? And and had very important conversation it was always about breezy and this was my point that i was getting ready to make when you hate somebody so much that you are willing to sacrifice your own or align with others to sacrifice against your own that's where i draw the line like getting so wrapped up in how much you hate nuggets that y'all forgot about breezy a whole ass black woman that was experiencing anti-blackness which was being threatened by an indigenous woman subliminally or however you want to look at it, who was called a walking hate crime. All of those things were absolutely unacceptable. But it goes back to this thing where I was talking about how the black community essentially is disrespected and how we are not treated with the same reverence, how we are not given the same respect collectively, our practices, our spiritual, like even the conversation that we had last night. Did you see, Pat, how the sentiments of those indigenous women on there changed as soon as you said, oh, Voodoo Bay is our elder in our community? Oh, like, yes, I remember. You saw I, that? And that's- everybody the, I'm sorry, Voodoo Bay, to address everybody in the comment section, I added Chrissy here because I thought she was talking shit about me. That's why I added her on there. And I want to make it very clear. This is a very pro-black space, but I add who I want in the box. So- I do. Essentially, right. when you use words that they could identify with, it changed the sentiment. But that's what I'm talking about overall, that our community isn't seen in that way. We're not seen as having elders. We're not seen as having culture. We're not seen as having, you know, spirituality that should be respected. It's just not seen, but it's expected from us. Because everybody was saying, like, yesterday there was anti-indigeneity and there was anti-black. I didn't see any Black people in the box or in the comment being anti-indigenous. I didn't see that. Certainly not from any Black person in any of the lives or any of the conversations. We did not and do not. But there was a whole lot of anti-blackness that got swept under the rug. A whole lot of disrespect. A whole lot of disrespect. Songbird, I never said you had a relationship with Anna. I never said that. No one ever said that. We never said that. We never said that. Like, <clears throat> again, back to what I speak is talking about. When you hold these spaces and you hold these forums and you share sentiments with certain people on certain things, you then become responsible for that. That was the same thing that happened with Nuggets. She held space. Shit went down. She said this. She didn't say that. She allowed this to happen and she was 
held accountable for that shit. And that goes across the board. If you are holding spaces and there are people who are anti-black in your space, then you become responsible for the fallout. You become responsible for the things that happen inside of your space and place. And that just is what it is. And we are all responsible for those spaces that we create. And I personally hold space for black people because that's where my investment is. I'm not defending nuggets. I said that <laughs> on that live. I have Why said is that no one listening? I, huh? Okay, everybody got to breathe in this comment section. It's like y'all, y'all, y'all listening skills Right. It's not that good. Like, y'all not <laughs> no. paying to anything. Yeah, nobody, absolutely nobody has defended Nuggets. <laughs> Least of all me. Hold on, hold on. Sombra said, y'all told me yesterday that something I allegedly did two weeks ago was problematic. I didn't say that. I never said that. I sat here after you got off the live and defended you. After people in the comment section were still talking shit, and I told them that if they're going to be talking shit about Somber, they can go. I speak said the same thing. He acknowledged that he is still mutuals with you. If anyone comes in his face disrespecting you, the same thing goes. That, like, wh where is all this coming from? Pat, allow her back up here. If she wants to, yeah. I mean, because I'm getting confused, like... Because we, 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 we see this is this is the, this is the problem here. What ends up happening, right? There's misconceptions that take place, right? And then they'll take this and manufacture something out of it. So I, I'm I'm not I'm not here for that. Now, if she she wants to come up, cool. If you want to hit me on the inbox, cool as well. However, they did do that. Yes, maybe we're all being misunderstood. Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm definitely trying to understand because there was a lot of defense of her, I don't know where, you know where what I'm saying, where. upon her exit. There was massive defense of her, and we made it clear that there's no beef between her and Voodoo Bay. So we, we wanted to make that very clear that, uh, uh, again, there's people that are going, may very well be going back and forth, I sending know. it from, say again? No, I was talking to the cap, sorry. Okay. Sending information that's not exactly true. So, any th any space that I, I exist in, I definitely want you to 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 clarify what it is that you're saying, so that we can all, you know, pretty much. Because what what what's going to happen is, right now, emotions are are semi high. They're not super duper high. Pat has had some super duper high emotional lives, and we we can acknowledge that, <laughs> not in a bad way. But I'm just saying. However, emotions are not that high right now. However, individuals' experiences should not be discounted. So in that, I want to say whatever misconception that was had, let's squash that shit right here, right now. Go ahead. Go I, had ahead. Live, I had a live after Pat's live that I told people was a place to decompress from a stressful live. That live was an open space for anybody that wanted to come in. After people the live yesterday? No, the live the day after, or the, the live after the Nuggets live. Okay. Which was two weeks ago or something. I said the title of that live, or the little caption of the live said, this is a safe space for Black, Indigenous, and other people of color to come in and decompress about the live that just happened because it was a lot. Multiple people came into my live, into the box, including Ash, Anna, Joey, Marion, Carnival Gal, hella people were in that live. People were oh. talking about their feelings, how they felt about the live, yada, yada, yada. I did not comment on Breezy. I said that I felt that Nuggets was not fully held accountable, and I will say, I believe that. I did not were say there, anything about Breezy. About Breezy? Excuse me? Were there other people in that live commenting about Breezy? I don't know if people were commenting about Breezy in the box. I certainly didn't respond or mention Breezy. I've never talked about Breezy in, like, I have never mentioned Breezy ever. I have never said anything about Breezy ever. I have not. Okay. So, so what, 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 that what live did... happened. Joey Halpish came in there and sang fucking songs and shit. And then people said, wow, thanks for this great space. I now, two weeks later, 
have people coming up to me saying problematic things happened in that live. No one has said anything to me in those two weeks prior to this. So I come onto a live and then if someone is saying to me, I held a problematic live two weeks ago where nobody was saying that the live was problematic during it or afterward. So I'm confused as to how I was supposed to 